Hello everyone, hey Jody Heath from JodyHeath.com. Gonna do a quick video to show you how to disable T-Mobile's two-step verification, also known as second factor authentication. This is basically where you log in with the username and then password, that's one step, and then they require you to enter an authentication code, which is the second step, which they will text you or email you to some other email account you provided. I can see a benefit in this on in my bank account or something that needs to be super secure, but on a private computer, uh, a username and password, perfectly good for me for my mobile service provider. Okay, so let's get into that real quick. Uh, so, so here's the usual course of events. You put, a, you put your phone number in or email. Uh, you click next. And if you've enabled save on passwords, you'll put your password in with one click and log in. You think you're in? Wrong. You're not. They want you to verify more stuff. Uh, so you hit continue. And right now they're sending me a six-digit code to my mobile device. And I'll put that in. And I'm in, so more hoopla than I want just to get in my mobile account. Okay, so let's fix that. So go up here to uh, this little half carrot, click it, uh, click on your profile, and scroll down where you get to T-Mobile ID. And at the bottom, you're going to see this two-step verification. Okay toggle that to off but you're not done yet okay so it looks like it automatically saves uh, I don't want to do this and go ahead and log out and so you've turned it off you think you're probably good wrong all right so come back in uh, still have to put in your uh, email or phone number And click next. Put in your password. Click login. And what is this? I just turned it off, but they want me to enter it again. Here's the last step in that. That could have been better explained. All right. So you need to check this little box here. Uh, that says remember this device. You know, as long as you're on again, you want to do this on a private computer, not a public one. Or shared device obviously All right. so put in your code and click continue and now as long as I don't clear my internet history I should be good let me log out and try it this is actually the first time I've done this uh, to completion here All right, so still annoying it wants me to enter my username or email every single time okay that should have been saved in there click on my uh, password log in and at least I don't have the annoying step of having to get a code from my phone from a mobile device enter in a browser just to get into my mobile account All right. So just one more tip, something I stumbled upon after doing the first part of this video. You know, there was another annoyance that I didn't mention, and that's having to enter my phone number every single time I log in. Okay, I'm using a Chrome browser on a Windows machine, and for whatever reason, Chrome would not save my phone number. It wouldn't auto-populate that. But if you look up here in the login screen, it says email or phone number. Okay, so I, I took a shot in the dark and typed in my email address um, and went ahead and logged in. Uh, clicked on password, and auto populated, and then uh, logged back out. And the good news is it, it actually auto saves your, it'll auto save your email address when it won't auto save your phone number. So. This way, I can, at least, it's just a one-click thing. 
for the username, another one click for the password. No second factor authentication, none of that stuff. You're good. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, please smash that like button, uh, click subscribe, and uh, from JodyHeath.com, take care.